Hi there, dear friends. This is Grace and welcome to my channel. I will be sharing with you a little tip video on how um, I am able to be more efficient in my scrapbooking. So this is a more kind of practical tip for me rather than a creative one or a um, technical one. And um, there's just two things that I've noticed lately that helps me to be able to be more efficient. Now, one of the reasons why I try to be more efficient is a it's because um i only have a certain amount of time in the day in the week um, i have other responsibilities and obligations and so even though um, i love scrapbooking i cannot devote a lot of time to it and so i need to be efficient need to be wise with my time when i do have the time to scrapbook so these are some of the things that help me and um b i am kind of I, I like to tend to the more organized way of doing things and so this kind of helps my brain work better and um, I can continue on working and knowing that I am reaching um, or um, checking off things or reaching my goal. So speaking of goals, my one of my goals this year is to be able to get caught up um, with my scrapbooking up to 2014. Now I I have to say that I was one of those people for the longest time said that I am never going to use the word get caught up because I never want to get caught up because if I do get caught up then there's no more pages to scrapbook. But um, lately my mentality on that has changed because I have seen that the gap between now and all of those years that I still have to document is getting further and further away. And so I feel like for me to not be too overwhelmed of the stories that I need to document still, that I need to be able to make that gap smaller. I hope that's making sense. So um, before this year, I had lots of doc um, stories and events that still needed to be scrapbooked um, from I think starting in 2010. And um, so I had some 2010, some 2011, all of tw 2012, 2013, 2014, and 2015. And then now we come to 2016 and I feel like um, there is just so many things that have happened in our family that needs to be documented now. Otherwise, it will be forgotten. And also, if I don't try to work on them a little bit faster than I would normally do then that gap would be bigger and it just takes me longer so with that being said there's two things that I am using right now that really works for me and the reason why I'm sharing this um, I'm sure everybody has their system on how they keep up with their scrapbooks but I'm sharing this just because this is working for me and so maybe there's some other ones that are like me or that are um, feeling that that's kind of their stumbling block and why they're um, not being creative is because they have to think of these kind of back end or behind the scenes type of uh, I'm not I don't know what to say but behind the, behind the scene um, things about scrapbooking that is that they need help on getting worked out so I hope that makes sense. But first of all, I have a, an Excel spreadsheet on in my computer, and I just titled it "Layouts and Scrapbook Pages That I Want to Make." Um, this is a combination of of pages that uh, are events that are kind of photo based, and there's some that are story based. So I put them all in here. Um, I know some people are product based, photo based picture base they're all you know we're all in different categories on why we scrapbook and that's all good for me personally I think that I am um, a little bit of all three and so I just kind of doc I mean I just type up all the pages that I want to make whether it fits into any of those categories so on this one I don't know if you can see it and I will I will try to maybe share um, PDF file of this. I don't know. I'm not really technical, so I don't know if I can share the so or the actual file that I have. Maybe, maybe not. But if I will, if I get to be able to work that out, then I will make sure to link that up on my blog. Or if you do not know where my blog is, it, make sure that you click on the description below. So for my um, tabs or columns, I just have theme, 
or of layout and then the date the journaling and the photos to use so this in here I just write down everything that basically mostly is our, our events and then these are their dates I I only have the the month and the year and then over here now for me this is important the journaling because I don't know if I can close up okay if you notice there is saying that does this have a journaling no it does not does this have a journaling yes it's via blog blog post so it helps me to know that I don't have to remember much of the things that are happening if it is already on a blog post because all I can do is just copy and paste what I've said on that specific post put it on a word document and then print it out so that makes my life so easy because then I can incorporate the journaling right off the bat when I'm working on the page or that I don't have to sit there and think about specific things about that event because it's already been documented somewhere else and then photos to use so like I said some of these are story based so it might not have a photo that is coordinated with it so I can just say you know use photos from an event which is usually what I put in there or um, I could just write um, like here with this one I wanted to create a mini book for some of the recipes that I created during um, a certain summer because I was doing a lot of cooking in a certain specific summer I think it was 2012 and so I can uh, I wrote a little note here that put together an album with all the recipes I tried to share it on the blog during the summer along with the photographs that I used for that event so just a little notes and this has really helped me because when I'm ready to Okay, so I'm going to get ready to print out pictures. What do I need? And I just go here and then figure out what I still need. So these are all of, so far, of the events from 2011 all the way to some 2013, 2014. And then I put a little bit of 2015 that I already printed out. And then when they're done, I just kind of cross them off. But then if there's a big bunch that has been have been crossed off, I go on that Excel spreadsheet that I had saved and take them off and then reprint another paper so that I can refresh this every so often. So this is this has really worked well for me uh, as a base of where, what do I scrapbook, you know, what do I need to document now. The second thing that is working for me is, of course, organizing my pictures. Now, this is just a little bit of the pictures that I had printed off just recently. I tried Shutterfly for the first time. Never really been a fan of getting pictures printed um, somewhere online because I was just not sure of the quality. But I had this free 150 prints um, from that I got uh, being a Joanne's... Um, email news blast subscriber and to shutterfly and so i tried it out because it's 150 prints and i know i had a lot of prints to do so i was like okay i'm gonna try it out so i tried it out and it's not so bad i'm actually i like it um so the thing that i i like about this system that i've created is it's super easy it's not technical at all so what i did was i just you know printed all the photos that i wanted and then i got these little um post-its and they're already this size and so i just divided the pictures for events and then i went on my picasa which i have all of my pictures in there and i just grabbed the exact dates now this bunch of pictures is actually from my um oldest i uh, know my youngest son's um, baby album. well some of it are not actually just a little bit but most of it are from his um, that's going to go on his baby album which is one of the things that I want to accomplish this year is I want to be able to finish his photo or his baby album before December 2016 because he would have already been two by then and I know some people are like oh wow two years old you know I am not even caught up and my kid is already five years old and and you know like I said everybody is in their different stages of scrapbooking I'm not saying this to make every, anybody guilty but I just know for me to be able to move forward and really enjoy the process I need to be able to lessen that gap so Part of that is just plugging along and getting through the baby album. So that is my 
thoughts on that. Anyways, I just went on uh, Picasa, like I said, and then wrote down the dates, specific dates of this, so that when I do scrapbook, so they're all compiled into different sections. Like this is the pictures of my baby shower. And so they're all compiled, compiled in there. And so when I am ready to scrapbook that, I just grab a pile and then I just start working on this. I already have a date and I know from the pictures what this thing is. This is when we did um, our little gender thing for the, for the bigger kids. So I got um, a little cake and then I put some icing on there and um, inside it revealed the color of the gender and so it was really cute and actually this event I have a, a YouTube video that I saved for this event just trying to get the t um, reaction of my children and so I might burn that in a CD and then add it to this page but anyways it is working really well for me oh and another thing I loved about the Shutterfly that this was actually an accident is I didn't check off that I wanted my pictures to go um to not have the white frame. So all of them have white frames. And you know, to be honest with you, I actually like having the white frames because sometimes I have to map my photos into white card socks. So this is already done for me. So that is another thing that would make me efficient with my scrapbooking. So there are, that's my two, um, I hope it's quick enough tips for you guys that if you are looking into kind of streamlining your scrapbooking and trying to figure out how you can be efficient with your time and organize your pictures and just kind of make sure that, you know, they're organized so that when you're when you're ready to create all the pertinent information is there staring you at the face so this is what I do I do kind of a combination of computer and just kind of regular handwritten stuff so that is my two tips I hope that that helps you and that encourages you to get a lot more scrapbooking and get a lot more of your um, stories documented so I will talk to you later make sure that if you like this post or this video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and watch some of the other videos that I have on my channel and if you have any questions just leave a comment below and I will try to answer them as soon as I can thanks guys bye